I got brides in Atlanta, Chase the Dolly in the family, credit cards in the scams, hitting the licks in the van. Legacy. Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen I'm just the youtuber in today's video I'm showing you on how to change your DPI settings through the Corsair utility engine uh, Last episode was the dashboard panel and I showed you what that basically did It was a really short simple and sweet video uh, didn't go too much depth in anything uh, But I figured I'll show you how to do a surface calibration and the DPI settings on how to change those and that will basically wrap up this software tutorial on this or yeah software tutorial on the software basically there will be nothing left to show until they come up with something new obviously but uh anyways guys i hope this this uh series helped uh obviously if you have any questions leave them down in the comments or join the discord that i made for you and drop a help ticket i'd be more than happy to help you but with that said let's hop into it so the first thing i'm going to show you is the dpi settings uh, i have four already set I think that's the max as mouse goes. And uh, this over here is basically the onboard modes that have already been saved. So if you click on them, they have different DPI settings, or they should. Um, I don't think I've actually changed these. I just changed the default. So for shits and giggles, we're going to change this one because I like where mine sits and I don't want to fuck it up. So we're going to change this one. Um. I want to see if you can change the actual name. Okay, so if you double click and you change the names, in this case, we're just going to name it YouTube. And so to change the actual sensitivity of the DPI is right now, as you see, it's in red. So that's the lowest DPI. That's 800 DPI X and Y. And basically what X means is I think X is, if I'm right, left, right, and then Y is up and down. Either that, it's backwards, one of the two. And right now they're they're linked. So if this if X changes, Y changes to what X is. But you can obviously change that if you do that. Uh, so now that they're not linked, X can change to whatever it is, and Y can change to its own separate number. Um, so to do that, obviously, I think. So right now we're selected on Y. So we're gonna. You know, change Y a little bit to 800. Oh, no. Nope. Didn't like me doing that. And then I think basically what you do here is fill this in. So if we want 800 and like 60. Yeah. And that basically changes the DPI without them linked. I preferably like them linked. I don't really have a purpose with uh, that. If you're big into competition and whatnot, that might be a benefit to you. I wouldn't really know. Um, so basically what you do is just slide this bar up. Holy fuck. I forgot I was on that setting. Okay, let's, let's uh, raise it up a little bit. There we go. I can move around now. Uh, so basically when you hit the center button, you're changing through the DPI settings on the mouse. You don't... You don't really have to go through the actual program. The program's just essentially just stuff that you put in, so that way it can tell the performance of the device what to do, essentially. Um, so you're really not even interacting with the software other than if you're changing your DPI setting or a micro button setting, stuff like that, or your lighting effects, whatever tickles your peach, really. Um, so now that I showed you how to change the actual DPI, um, you can actually color code these to whatever that you want and you can do that by clicking on the square over here and okay I want this to be that color so the first one will be that we'll make this one red and this one will be a little bit higher and then we'll make the green I actually like the green as it is so I'm just gonna boop it up a little bit boop up the little yellow and then Blue, we're just gonna have it as fucking. Uh, what color do we want? We want that color. Now, unfortunately, this sniper thing down here isn't associated with this mouse. This is with another mouse that has an actual sniper button on the side of the uh, thing, and this basically what that does, it slows, it switches the DPI 
while you're holding the button down to this DPI. And then when you release that button, it switches back to whatever DPI setting that you were originally on. Essentially what it does. But since this mouse doesn't have it, you don't really need to concern yourself with it because you can't use it. Anyways, that's how you change the DPI on this and change the color coding if you're into that. Um, and then you can switch these off too. So if I switch these off, I just go back to these, the purple and blue, which I thought was pretty, pretty different. I don't know why you would ever use that, but who knows? Uh, so that's basically that covers all the DPI settings that you can do. If you have any questions, like I said, just leave them down in the comments or hit me up in the discord. Uh, so now we're going to move on to surface calibration. So this is actually pretty, I like this a lot for a reason because um, let's say you take your mouse and you're on vacation or something and you have your gaming laptop with you and you don't have a mouse pad. That's like every worst nightmare for a gamer, right? Uh, well, this actually helps you with that. So let's say if you're working on like hardwood, it's still kind of got like a decent close to, you know, a mouse pad, not as efficient, but it gets the job done. So to calibrate the mouse essentially to that surface, what you want to do is take this yellow dot and keep it into the green. If you keep it into the green, it essentially makes the DPI work essentially better and accurate. Um, that's basically what surface calibration does. And you can do this as many times as you want to get the proper feel for it. But as long as it's in that green, uh, you're pretty much golden. And after that, you can tell basically the difference. Um, now to keep in mind, you don't want to keep going up and down. You want to keep left and right too because of X and Y, obviously. It helps calibrate the mouse better and performs better after that compared to just doing one way. Uh, I found out <laughs> after a few tries uh, through the hard way, but um, I was like, oh, that would you know, make sense. So keep in mind, you want to keep you know, X and Y because the mouse goes X and Y. It doesn't just go one direction. And that is basically surface calibration. If you guys had any questions, leave them down in the comment section or hit me up in the Discord, of course. Um, I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. That lets me know that these videos are actually benefiting you guys. And while you're at it, why not subscribe if you haven't already? You'll get the latest notification when I go post another video. Um, usually I post Monday and Tuesday. Um, I try to keep consistent. Uh, Tuesdays are Tutorial Tuesdays, obviously, if you haven't caught the drift of that during today's video. And Mondays are usually gameplays or some other type of video, like an unboxing video or a how-to video. Um, but with that said, guys, thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.